You know what I would like to see you revive? And I say this as uh, the editor in chief generation Trudeau. Now that the pubs are open again, the weather's warming up. Let's go out and see what's up with Generation Trudeau, the young Trudeau voters. That was fun. You know what, Sheila? Uh, you must be psychic because we were just talking about that the other day. Now, remember, <laughs> there were two Generation Trudeau ones. One was uh, we, Generation Trudeau on campus where we go and we make up a completely outrageous premise. I mean, I think the first one was one of the best where we went to Ryerson and we went to predominantly female students because it was 2016. It was the uh, 100th anniversary of the women's suffrage movement. And I had my little <laughs> clipboard and I said, will you sign a petition to denounce women's suffrage? And like ants to a jam jar. <laughs> they, they, and I mean, this was during the 100th anniversary. Surely, if you don't know what the word suffrage meant, it was in the news cycle that year. Right. And we got dozens of signatures from mostly women saying, yeah, um, you know, uh, those who conduct suffrage on women, uh, it, it, they should be called out. What about those people, uh, as I was asking your friend earlier, that actually support women's suffrage? Um, I guess we need to educate them. So there was Generation Trudeau on campus where we make up something and the brainiacs uh, on our university and college campuses, they, they, they always fall for it. And then there's um, Generation Trudeau after dark in which we just ask a straight question, no trickery, because the interview subjects are all wasted and inebriated and fully <laughs> drunk. And if I were to think any sort of like women power or anything like that, like I think that <laughs> we would actually run the city in uh, country. Every second uh, time we do that, there's always like some female Ryerson journalism student that comes up and gives us a lecture on the ethics of interviewing drunk people. And I would think that you're a sexist piece of shit. <laughs> and uh, Wouldn't be the I first time that's been uh, uh, alleged. Yeah. And I always say this, I say, listen, sometimes alcohol works as truth serum. You're really yeah. getting, you know, but the thing is it's unintentionally hilarious. You're right, finally, after two years, the pubs are back open. so. We're going to go down again at closing time, which is uh, after 2 a.m. And uh, all you have to do is put a microphone in somebody's face. And uh, the hilarity that ensues um, is uh, is astonishing. So, yeah, thank you for reminding me about that, Sheila. Yeah. And, you know, with regard to women's suffrage, I might seriously sign that petition, depending on the day and how many of my fellow <laughs> females voted for Justin Trudeau <laughs> because of his hair. Some days I'm like, Do, should they have given us the vote? I'm not. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm willing Brilliant. to hear. Our, I'm willing to hear arguments. Um, what would be the one thing that our viewers would be surprised to know about you, David Menzies? Oh my goodness. Um, let me think about what would they be surprised uh, to know about me. Um, I would say. Maybe it's this. Um, even at my advanced age, um, <laughs> I love cycling. It was a beautiful day in Toronto yesterday. Got the road bike out for the first time in once. And, uh, you know, I live in Richmond Hill. You just go a couple of clicks north of Elgin Mills. You're in the country. You have endless kilometers of uh, pavement where you don't come across a stop sign or a traffic light. It is a cycler's paradise. And basically, well, Sheila, let's put it this way. As you know... I am fat, but without my cycling regimen, I am circus fat. Uh, I don't want to appear uh, as a, um, uh, a subject on um, my 600 pound life. <laughs> so so without that, and um, I can tell you this, uh, sometimes I have to drag myself on the bicycle, but I will say this, that I think as a species, we were never meant to be 100% sedentary. And what I notice is that when I'm on my bike and, you know, you're burning the calories, you're getting into a sweat, you got the endorphin rush, um, I think it helps the brain as well. Because, Sheila, I can't tell you how many times that mid-ride I have an epiphany. I, I come across a fantastic idea for Rebel News. I, oh, of course, this would be a, a gem. And um, I'll say this to everybody out there. We, you know, we've had a tough two years with the gyms cruelly and unnecessarily shut down. Um, but, you know, get active. I mean, I, it almost sounds like I'm auditioning for one of the um, 
roles in uh, the participation ads. Remember those <laughs> when <laughs> when the the sixty year old Swede was more physically fit than the thirty the thirty year old Canadian. Um, but yeah, that that's uh, maybe something people don't know about me in terms of my personal life. Um, I'm you know. Uh, I buy a lot of lottery tickets too, Sheila. I got to tell you, I my dream is to buy the performance Batmobile made by fiberglass freaks in Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's only five left, officially licensed by DC Comics. Yeah, so while other people use their lottery winnings, I don't know, to buy real estate and see compound returns every year, I want to buy a Batmobile. I just want to cruise Young Street <laughs> <laughs> as the Cape Crusader. <laughs> goodness that's the best poor lady menzies in her robin outfit well <laughs> oh can you imagine <laughs> i mean really the robin costume was surely designed for a female right i mean yeah, like for sure red tunic green short shorts yellow cape oh say it loud boy wonder say it loud <laughs> Um, by the way, David, I think people could put together the fact that you are a cyclist because we've all seen your legs when you tried oh. out for the cheerleaders <laughs> and your legs looked great. That was the first thing I, I thought about when I saw that, that, uh, video was, well, David's got no shame, but also nothing to be ashamed of with those legs. Oh my <laughs> they goodness. Were great. Yeah. I've never been objectified before, Sheila. <laughs> You'll get over it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, what you just saw there is a clip from my weekly full-length show, The Gun Show. It airs on Wednesday, but this is the internet. You can watch it whenever you feel like. You just have to become a subscriber to our paywalled premium content. Just go to rebelnewsplus.com to become a member today.